Hello and welcome to another Math with Miss V. Today we are going to look at tax tips and markups. In our previous video, we looked at solving uh, percent problems with an, a per proportion and an equation. Wow. In this video, we will look at how to solve problems that involve sales tax, tips, and markups. So let's start by defining what those are. A sales tax is an additional amount of money charged to the items that people buy. It's added to the original amount if you're asked to find the total. A tip, also called a gratuity, is the amount of money in return for a service. We add this to the original amount of the total. And finally, markup. Markup is the amount of increase of a cost of an item. This creates a selling price for the item or how much the customer will pay. Markups are always added to the original amount. So let's put this into practice. We'll look at how to solve these with both the um, percent proportion and the percent equation. So our first example is to find the sales tax if you buy $35 worth of items and your county sales tax is 7%. Okay, with the percent proportion, we would put our percent over 100. And then on the other side, we have how much the tax will be over the original, which is $35. We're gonna put X in for what we don't know and cross multiply. So we have 100X equals 35 times seven which is 245. We're gonna divide by 100, divide by 100, and x equals 2.45. So find the tax, the tax is $2.45. With the equation, we would take $35, and multiply it times our tax turned into a decimal. So seven divided by 100 would give us 0 0.07. So 35 times 0 0.07. And that gives us the same answer of $2.45 already in our decimal format. Okay. Let's look at another example. Okay. This one says find the total of your bill if your meal costs $50 and you want to leave a 20% tip. Okay, so we're looking for the total. So for this one, with our percent proportion, we're going to have to add at the end. Um, with our proportion, we'll find the tip. Okay, I'm setting it up to show that we're finding tip, but we want the total and we can only do that by adding the tip to the original amount. We're going to cross multiply 100x equals 50 times 20, 5 times 2 is 10, and two more zeros. We're going to divide by 100, divide by 100, so x equals $10. So that's my tip. But I need the total, so 50 plus 10 would give us a total of $60. With the percent equation, we can roll these in together. So first, we have to think about representing the whole amount and the tip amount as decimals. Okay, when you have the whole or all of something, that's 100%. And we can turn that into a decimal by dividing by 100 or saying 1. Then our tip amount, you would do the same thing to turn it into a decimal and get 0 0.2. Now we're going to add the two together. So one plus 0 0.2 gives us 1.02. Whoops, 1.2, sorry. To get our final answer, we're simply going to multiply this times 50. So 50 times 1.2 gives us our same answer of $60 for our total. No need to add at the end. It's already been added earlier on. Let's look at one more example, this time with discount. No, with markup, sorry. Discount will be the next video. A store buys an item for $5.50. They want to mark it up 75%. 
what is the price the customer will pay, okay? So in this case, markup's always added um, to our, back to our original price. So we're looking for our markup amount. We're marking it up 75%. We're gonna cross multiply, so 100X. So 75 times 550. gives us 412.5. We're gonna divide by 100, divide by 100. So X equals 4.125. Remember we're dealing with money, so we need to round that. So 4.13. So we're marking up our item $4.13. So if we wanna find the customer price, we're gonna add 550 plus 4.13, which gives us $9.63 will be the customer price. Okay, with the percent equation, we do the same thing. We represent our whole as 100%, which we turn into a decimal or just one. So after a while, you'll get the feel of just representing it with one. Then we need our markup amount, which is 75% which will give us 0 0.75. Because it's marked up, we're adding. So this will be 1.75. And then times our original amount, so the 550. So 1.75 times 5.50 gives us 9.625. Again, we're dealing with money, so we have to round. The two looks at the five, tells it to, it gets told to round up to a three, so $9.63. And that is how you use either percent proportion or the percent equation to find tax tip and markup. Thank you for joining this Math with Miss V video. I look forward to seeing you in the future.